a controversial therapy that seeks to make gay kids straight is now banned in Broward County. The Commission's action Tuesday follows the lead of Palm Beach County Commissioners in December and about 15 Florida cities over the past several years in saying licensed professionals should not subject children to the practice known as conversion therapy. The goal of the psychiatric therapy treatments is to change a minor's sexual orientation or gender identity. It targets children who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender or questioning their sexual identity. What we could better do for our youth is create environments of community and familial acceptance and support, said Wilton Manor's resident Paul Smith, who supported the ban. Palm Beach County is the first county in Florida to ban therapists from trying to change the sexual orientation of children, buoying efforts to prohibit the practice in Broward and elsewhere in the Sunshine State. Commissioners voted 5-2 to two Tuesday to approve the ban, despite concerns from the county. Palm Beach County is the first county in Florida to ban therapists from trying to change the sexual orientation of children, buoying efforts to prohibit the practice in Broward and elsewhere in the Sunshine State. Commissioners voted 5-2 to two Tuesday to approve the ban, despite concerns from the county. Conversion therapy can involve counseling sessions focused on traditional gender notions, where gay children and teens are told they can change their orientation and become a real man or feminine woman. Online advertisements for the therapy say individuals dealing with unwanted same-sex attraction can be helped through intensive emotional healing work. The Broward ban was opposed by Bernie Diaz, an ordained minister at Christ Community Church in Pembroke Pines, who asked commissioners to consider the equal civil rights of people of faith who voluntarily seek conversion. Robert Otto, a therapist, said the ban would prevent him from helping youth who come to him who do want to change and are concerned about unwanted romantic or sexual feelings. Supporters of the ban said youth don't voluntarily seek out such therapy, but are pressured into it by family or others. They do not have free will, said Catherine Campbell a licensed clinical social worker. This bans helps to make sure dangerous practices are not being used. The American Academy of Pediatrics and the American Psychological Association have opposed conversion therapy on minors. Critics say the practice can have devastating effects on youth and can lead to depression, suicidal thoughts and substance abuse. A leading civil rights group issued a scathing report Wednesday on gay-to-straight conversion therapy and called for Congress to make the practice an act of criminal fraud. The report, titled Quacks and published by the Southern Poverty Law Center, includes testimony and comments from former. A leading civil rights group issued a scathing report Wednesday on gay-to-straight conversion therapy and called for Congress to make the practice an act of criminal fraud. The report, titled Quacks and published by the Southern Poverty Law Center, includes testimony and comments from former.